Hello folks, we are here with a new project. This is a stay at home project because I don't know if you heard about this. We are in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, the coronavirus outbreak. So we have to stay inside. I want to build like a birthday gift for my dad. He's turning 60 and I want to build like a steampunk lamp for him. So I got a lot of pieces. I, I have these cool gears, this fuel pump. I have this gauge, maybe this is a little bit too big. We can have like a nice looking thing or maybe something really chill. I don't know yet. I think there was like a stand here where you can push and then you have like a handle right here and then another one right here. And this is a fuel pump. I will have to use one of those metal brushes for the grinder. I have to get everything to be not like a super shiny metal, but it has to be clean so it can take the paint after. I want to get like a nice gun metal finish. So I have two ways, going up like a main thing and a complementary exit with some kind of cool looking device. I was thinking about this to the side with another, maybe this and that, and then we can have this cool thing, I don't know. This is from a gearbox, I think from a car or something like that. And I want to use this gear right here, this is the biggest one that I have right now, as a base for the lamp, so I want to cut right here. way to go and this is our first split is it well done? no Okay, so here we are. We have the general layout for the shape that we want to have with the lamp. Maybe we make some little changes later. So we have the, our main pipe here. We have our gauge, this cool looking steampunk look that we're looking. And we have our gears. This is like one of our main pieces. And we have the lamp. This is going to be like right here, like a 45 degree angle. And then we have the lamp right here. You have to imagine this is the base. This is the gear on the base. And then we are going to have a big piece of wood right here. In this T fitting, the only thing missing is another fitting that is going to carry the guard for the lamp. And I think it's looking really good. day of the week is this one maybe it's Saturday maybe it's Monday I don't have an idea we are starting to clean the pieces we have this nice and clean valve we have these unions right here this T fitting I have this gear I have made these eight holes all around uh, this is going to be fixed to the wood piece below and I have to weld this piece right here that is the one is going to be holding everything first I want to weld this after that we are going starting to grow up we still have to clean a lot of parts So we take this to the metal shop. This is the base. It looks straight. This is a little bit narrow. I have to get like a spader, maybe one of these nuts right here and a different one of these. So I have got more space for the following pieces, which are these ones gears this will be the actual position
I'm a little bit insecure about the paint. I don't really want to use paint. Right now I'm testing with some pieces that I have. I want to heat them up really good and then bathe them with used oil. Maybe we get like a nice result. <laughs> Whole budget is here, you know. We will have to do this with every single piece, make them hot and bite them with oil. Let's watch it burn. This is going to explode. I want to be far away. Nice. This looks good enough for me, or maybe I'm just saying this because I want to look bad in front of the camera, saying that this is the way I want it. I actually want this to be complete black. Um, we need a big, big fire to make this work. The flame in that heater is not enough. We need that big fire. This is fire, fire, fire. I'm going to add a little bit of coal. Exploding stuff. We have to wait for them to get cold, we have to clean them a little bit and we can start assembling and putting everything together. Now you can see the nice size and shape that this thing has. It broke right here. So I have to redo that welding. It's correct. Nice setback. Right now we are in the final stage. We have to get the switch into the bulb. I want the actual bulb to be turning on and off the switch and controlling the lamp. Right here inside this bulb I want to have the switch that is going to be turning on and off the lamp. As you can see that fits perfectly. And right here we are going to have that on and off action. There is one. The sweet thing about this is it's a huge time saver because this actually fits inside really nice and the bulb mechanism is working really really nice. Pushing the switch when it gets to the bottom of the bulb that should be making a sound and you open the bulb and you get light. No. Because we are here in this curfew mode right now because of the pandemic, I really don't know which day of the week it is. We may have been working on this for like a month 
or like a year, I don't really know. We're about to finish, we have to assemble our gauge and we have to assemble the lamp holder and also we have to oil this nice base. You can already tell how nice this looks. We have a nice uh, grain right here. We have this crazy grain going on right here. It goes nothing. We are having a problem with this one. It's just going to be like a fake screw. Okay. Looks awesome. This is a lamp. This is not the one that I actually want to use, but this is the one that we have. I'm not really going out. Later, I will get another one that looks better, or maybe this is the one I is going to have for the rest of existence, most likely, for sure. So we are just missing the cage. I am like happy. Can you see my happy face? This is my happy face. You have seen it. You don't want to know my angry face. Look at that. This took a lot of work and lucky for me I had the assistance of my beautiful girlfriend right here. <laughs> this is for my dad, he's turning 60. Everything that we do right now, my brothers and I, we owe that to him because he taught us a lot of things but he also taught us how to learn stuff for our own. We are now able to do the wonderful things that people love and this is for you dad. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs>